Hi, I'm Dr. Stanley Curtis, uh, trumpet professor at Colorado State University. And today I'd like to show you how to make your own trumpet lead pipe swab. So why do we need a lead pipe swab? Well, this is one that I already have made. It has a shoestring and a little sinker at the end to drop it down through the lead pipe and strips of leather at the end. And when you pull it through the uh, lead pipe, it cleans it and dries it at the same time. So it's very, very good. Unfortunately for me, my swab right now is very old. The leather is very crinkly and old. So I'm gonna make a new one today and I'm gonna show you how to make your own uh, lead pipe swab. So let's begin. What do you need to make this? You need a pair of scissors. You need to go to the, uh, the uh, sporting goods store and buy what they call Dipsy Swivel Fishing Sinkers. Okay, so what is a Dipsy Swivel? That means that it has a little, let me see if you can see this, a little eye hook right at the end of it made of wire that you would normally put the fishing line into and tie it through that. And then beneath that hook is a little sinker. The size you need is a 3 16th of an inch size. Okay, so that's a standard size. So you got that. You also need a 30 inch uh, thin shoestring. The, I got this one made by Kiwi. It's a dress shoe shoestring, 30 inches long. Okay, and then you need some leather uh, cloth. It's called a chamois, or as I used to call it when I was growing up, uh, a chamois. So you may pronounce it either way but you need one of these chamois cloths. It's very soft leather. So first of all, I'm going to uh, tie the shoestring into this little eye hook on the sinker. I'm gonna waste a little bit of the line at the end so that I can get a nice knot. And I'm just gonna do the regular old kind of knot that we all know how to do. So tie a knot there, make it nice and tight as tight as you can make this knot. Good. And at the other end, we're going to tie on strips of this chamois. I need to cut the strips now, and I need about eight inches of strip long, and, and uh, the strip is going to be about a half an inch wide. So I'm gonna cut this one about right here. There, it's not exact, of course. You can do a little bit more, a little bit less, because it gives. I'm gonna cut this. No, I need four strips. All right, there's the first one cut. See that, if you make this too big, it really won't go in the lead pipe and you can trim it down later on after you find out it doesn't really go through. And uh, a little trim will help it go through. Don't worry, it really won't get stuck in the lead pipe. Then I'll make another strip about the same length. And there you go. I have four strips of nice, supple, new chamois ready to tie to my shoestring. So the first one I'll do will be, I'll compare it to my old one. I'll have a ruler here. So the first one will be about, oh, a foot and a half away from the sinker. About. The string will intersect the strip about halfway through the strip and I will circle the strip of leather and tie a little knot. The next strip, I will tie it about one inch lower or further away from the sinker. So here's the sinker. Here's the first strip and I'm gonna tie the second one close to it, about right there. Just loosen up your knots a little bit as you're tightening them every now and then just to see if they're not going to be folded over the wrong way. So you want nice, crisp knots. The third strip, the same exact way leaving enough room to tie your final knot. And 
And then the final knot, I'll tie with a little room left over so I can actually tie the knot. Great. So now I have all of my chamois strips attached to the shoestring like this. I still have the little uh, ends of the shoestring uh, on the shoestring, so I'm going to cut those off. And one thing additionally I'm going to do to make sure this doesn't come on undone is I'm going to just burn the end of that knot so that it will not come undone. There we go. That's our nice swab. Let's see if it goes through the trumpet. I'm going to take off the lead pipe like that. Now let's drop the sinker the fishing sinker into the lead pipe and it comes out right here. So you grab that in and try to pull the, the swab through. Wonderful. And see the swab comes out. It has a little dirt on it and it also has some moisture. It's drying it out and cleaning the trumpet. Then after you do that, drop it through the tuning crook or the tuning slide. Just like that. Pull it all the way through and that's it. Clean off any excess stuff. After you finish that you can uh, wash this into the sink and get it really clean if you would like to do that. I recommend doing this uh, every day if you have time or even after every particular practice or rehearsal. That would be excellent. Uh, if not, do it at least once a week. Okay, thank you for watching and good luck with your trumpet playing. Best wishes from the CSU Trumpet Studio.